So apparently I'm not going to be able to enjoy my Labor Day weekend because the Real Housewives of Atlanta drama continues to unfold on social media. And this time it's about Kenya Moore hair spas business. You know, the last video that we did, we were talking about She by Sheree being blasted by this designer saying that she still has not officially paid him for all of the work that he provided during the season 14 finale. Well, now Kenya Moore Hair Care is being accused of faking her opening and saying that her hair spa is still not open, looks like it's still under construction. Let's break this down. Welcome back to the Kempire channel, your number one source for pop culture news and music, entertainment, reality TV, and so much more. As always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. So a lot of you have been tagging me, you love to tag me in different stories, but look, I'm also away, I'm also trying to enjoy my time away. I have been giving you guys content, however, you know I have to stay up on the Raw Housewives of Atlanta stuff. Look, and now Kenya Moore is being accused of not really developing and creating a hair spa. Well, let's unpack this. So a woman by the name of Millie Chun on her YouTube posted this two minute clip going to the Kenya Moore hair care spa and saying that it's still under construction. There's still things that are undone. She even goes inside the lobby. You remember the lobby, the little short form video that we did? A lot of people are saying, well, that's the lobby of the building. That's not the hair spa. So she goes there, she goes inside and she says, well, this is the lobby. This is not the Kenya Moore hair care spa. Okay, y'all. So we're going to go into where Kenya actually had her reception. Pretending like it was her salon. Smoke and mirrors. Smoke and mirrors. Hold on. Allegedly, y'all. This is the spot. I feel like it was, but I'm not sure. So I'm gonna say allegedly, cause I don't need nobody coming after me cause all I got is this cell phone. <laughs> yeah, that is still under construction. Like ain't nothing going on in here. That is cement steps and a pipe. Oh, y'all can see it. You can see it. Kenya, you, you ought to be shaming yourself. You may have seen on Kenya's social media and on the, the hair spa social media that there, there was an event there. So this young lady goes throughout the spot. She's like, well, Kenya, where is your business? You said that you're having an opening. We should note during the season finale of The Real Housewives of Atlanta season 15, the producers in her write-up for the end of the season, the summation of her, her, of her season, said that she had a soft opening. But you also may recall Kenya Moore has been blasting production for not sharing her full story, for not sharing the journey of building this hair spa. You know, we got a little bit of a clip between Kenya and Akila early in the season where we go into the construction site. So part of why we were like, why would production leave this out? Why didn't we have this party? Because we wanted to see the final product. But apparently the final product is not officially done. But there's more to the story. So a couple of things. We have this hair spa under construction. It's still not done. There's photos of Kenya outside of this construction area. But if you go to Kenya's Instagram, it says that the spa is supposed to supposedly opening fall, which is in a couple of weeks, <laughs> fall of 2023. She also says in the comment section of the video of the lobby, she's also clarifying and saying, yes, that is the lobby but this is the lobby entrance to our you know, location. So some people speculated that the reason why production may have not shown the party or may have not shown the salon was because there was no salon yet. However, Candy was in the Neighborhood Talks comment section clarifying what exactly is happening at Kenya Moore's location. And I'm sure Kenya will talk more about this, but according to Candy, we're going to see more and hear more about this in part one of the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 15 reunion. So Candy said this in the Neighborhood Talk Instagram. With an angry face, she says she is wrong, giving out misinformation. Honestly, I'm surprised. It was, I know that Candy and Kenya are friends, but I was actually surprised to see that Candy was the first to react to all this. I'm sure Kenya will also react to this as well. So she says she is wrong giving out misinformation. Kenya's party was definitely in Kenya's salon. 
She says, Kenya says on the show tonight that she decided to put a second floor in her in her salon, which I assume is the construction that is happening now. Keep in mind, Candy's saying that she assumes, right? It's important to, to understand what's happening. She doesn't know for fact. She says that I assume that's the construction that's happening now. She says, and as far as that lobby she's showing in the video, there is a door from there that leads to Kenya's salon, but the party was not in the lobby. She says, people be quick to want to drag somebody and don't know what they're talking about. This is true, but some of you can say that we've done the same to she by sh someone else. <laughs> Hell no. She, she by she in. All is fair when we're talking about these housewives show, but it is important to note all of all sides. We're gonna point, point out what Millie Chun has witnessed firsthand, but we're also gonna point out what Candy is saying, what she witnessed firsthand. The next person I wanna hear from is Kenya. If, she's, if this space that we're looking at is the second floor or another portion, who knows? But what I do want to know is why at least the party was not featured on the show. Because we had a fashion show with no fashions early in, in the years. We had a fashion with a, a launch that, that was womp, womp, womp. We have the archive that's in a closet. I know, okay, we have to be, we have to be fair. Marlo also posted some more footage of the archive on her Instagram so we can get a better look at the space. thing about Real Housewives of Atlanta and this is why now I'm like I'm ready for a reboot because it feels like everyone on this show is giving us smoke and mirrors and not their real story and a lot of you have said that and that's why a lot of you have sort of checked out of reality TV you've checked out of the Real Housewives of Atlanta specifically I do feel like we are not getting the full story be that from the housewives or be that from production but it seems as if this, the chemistry amongst these ladies, there, there has to be some sort of shift because there, there is no true friendship amongst the larger part of this cast. But as always, guys, I loved hearing what you guys have to say in regards to what Millie Chun posted on her YouTube channel. Of course, we always cite our sources, so I'll be posting a link to Millie Chun's YouTube video in the description. But I also, I'll be posting you a link to what Candy had to say in defense of Kenya. And if Kenya speaks about this, we of course will do a follow up. Guys, as always, be sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on breaking news when we go live or when we upload. Thanks for watching. Ooh, you bring the lighter, I got the